OpenAI has had a leak and I'm going to show you every exciting development from the ability to create a profile to a business GPT version on this episode of AI Focus. And at the end, I'll even show you news about a feature OpenAI meant to release. And it's a part of ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo. And there's even a new update to GPT-4, which makes it GPT-4 0163 now. So stay tuned because you don't want to miss a second of this video. Seriously. This leak comes from an AI leak subreddit by a user named ChatGPT Insider. He claims to be an employee of OpenAI and whether he is or not, he has a track record of posting reliable information. He leaked the release date of GPT-4, the partnership between OpenAI and Microsoft and ChatGPT+. So this guy is pretty plugged in. And apparently comes across these new leaks I'm about to cover while digging around in the source code for ChatGPT. He's like the ChatGPT dumpster diver. According to ChatGPT Insider, OpenAI is working on three new features for ChatGPT. One being workspaces, two being profiles, and three being file uploads. Let's get into it, shall we? The first feature is workspaces that will allow users to create their own virtual workplace where they can use ChatGPT in various ways. I imagine that these workspaces would be customized with prompts that will fill what your department or workflow is. Say you wanted to create a workspace for coding. ChatGPT could be your assistant and help you debug, optimize, and test code. ChatGPT could even be your comrade in a gaming workspace and play games with you. You'll be able to create as many workspaces as you need and switch between them seamlessly while also being able to invite other people to them. Imagine a scenario where you can invite others to a workspace where you're brainstorming ideas for a project and ChatGPT is there to help provide suggestions. The workspace would be kind of like a system prompt where you could input all the info about your business and even tell ChatGPT how to respond to you. Now for the second feature, profiles. This is a feature that will allow you to, you guessed it, create your own personal profile for ChatGPT. Here, you'll be able to set your preferences, interests, and even inform ChatGPT of your personality traits. In your profile, you can inform ChatGPT that you like indie rock, indie movies, and corny jokes, or you could set a profile that reflects your curiosity or shyness. This all allows ChatGPT to shape how it interacts with you and makes the experience more human-like which is pretty cool. If you like indie movies, ChatGPT may recommend you some movies you haven't seen yet. Or if you're shy, ChatGPT could fill you up with self-esteem boosts throughout the day. Aw, oh, ChatGPT cares about us now. I don't know if anyone has tried the Pi AI, but it's an AI with an amazing ability to seem like a person, and it's geared to help people who feel overwhelmed. I tried it and the experience was unlike talking to any other chatbot. If ChatGPT can combine this feeling with its capabilities, I'm telling you, this will be otherworldly. Third is the file upload. This will, of course, allow users to upload files to ChatGPT and use them as inputs or outputs for the conversation. You could upload an image of a painting and ask ChatGPT to describe or critique it, or you can upload an essay and ask ChatGPT to summarize it. The file types are limitless with videos, PDFs, spreadsheets, and slideshows likely all getting in on the action. You can also upload many files at once and ask ChatGPT to combine it and compare them. Think about a scenario where you could upload two cover letters and ask ChatGPT which one is more impressive. Getting ChatGPT's brain to work on your different file types will be a game changer and a step towards the world of multimodal AI. These are three leaks that will transform ChatGPT as we know it. It will all contribute to a business variant of ChatGPT coming soon tailored for business use cases and applications. This means that businesses will be able to use ChatGPT to build their own chatbots for customer service, sales, marketing, education, healthcare, and more. This is huge because Amazon was putting a lot of stock into building a service like this with its bedrock announcement. A development like this would pull the rug out from anyone with the same idea, but it's not all bad. Ideally, companies would be able to use this business GPT without fear that OpenAI is retraining on its company data. Whether companies will trust this is up to them, but if OpenAI can build that trust, we'll live in a world where it will be impossible to have a competitive business without business GPT. By the way, if you're enjoying this content and want to stay updated on all the latest AI news, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. It'll really help the channel out. Now back to the video. But now for the chat GPT info OpenAI meant to release. ChatGPT currently has a limit on its model that stops it from processing more than 4,000 tokens at once. 
tokens being what the AI sees as words or phrases. Now OpenAI has bestowed upon us ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo that has a 16,000 context window. That's 16,000 words, which is quite the jump. It's important to remember that the model isn't out as of yet and it's not as coherent as GPT-4. And right now, it's only available inside OpenAI's Playground demo, meant for testing out its API. That's not going to stop us from taking a look now, is it? The API is what allows you to develop apps or websites using OpenAI's models and this is where the OpenAI API is tested out, which I'll link below. If you look to the right, you can select chat and from there select GPT 3.5 Turbo 16K. From here, you'd be able to enter a system prompt to tell ChatGPT how to respond to your query. Like, you're a helpful assistant that responds like it's talking to a first grader in bullet point form. And your input and output would be able to go up to 16,000 tokens, which is unheard of for ChatGPT 3.5. And GPT-4 also has an update, GPT-40163. And it gives developers the ability of function calling. Without getting into all the details, this is just a more reliable way to connect ChatGPT with plugins, convert natural language into API calls, or extract structured data from text, like on this example, where a function is used to extract all the people from a Wikipedia article. In this example, the user has a query. The OpenAI API calls the model, the third party uses the model response to call the API, and then the open API sends the response back to the model, resulting in an answer. In addition, using ChatGPT just got cheaper. The cost of GPT 3.5 Turbo has been reduced 25% to 0.0015 per 1000 input tokens and 0.002 per output tokens, which equates to 700 pages per dollar. It also says GPT 3.5 Turbo 16K will be priced at 0 0.003 per 1000 input tokens and 0 0.004 per 1000 output tokens. On June 27th, all models will be upgraded to these new versions. These new upgrades are great, but OpenAI states that they're still looking for the safest ways to integrate these external tools with ChatGPT. It says, for example, a proof of concept exploit illustrates how untrusted data from a tool's output can instruct the model to perform unintended actions. We are working to mitigate these and other risks. Developers can protect their applications by only consuming information from trusted tools and by including user confirmation steps before performing actions with real world impact, such as sending an email, posting online, or making a purchase. What do you think about these leaks? What do you think about the upgrades to ChatGPT 3.5 and 4? Will you be using these new features? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, click a video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen. And thanks for visiting AI Focus.